Hey everyone, if you have recently walked down the milk aisle at the grocery store, you've probably noticed there are a ton of plant-based alternatives like oat milk. So today I'm curious to see, can a glass of oat milk compare to traditional cow's milk? And how do these two stack up? Here's the two products I'm comparing today. So I have just a half gallon of your traditional cow's milk you could get at the grocery store. This is 2% fat. Then I have Chobani Oat, the plain variety, and this is also at 2% fat. So there is not going to be a difference in the overall fat content. We'll focus on some other aspects. One huge difference I want to point out right away is the different amounts of protein in cow's milk versus oat milk and honestly most plant-based milks. Cow's milk has 8 grams of protein per serving where Chobani oat milk only has 2 grams and I saw other brands of oat milks that only had 1 gram of per protein per serving. So if you are using milk as a good protein source you're going to want to stick with cow's milk and another detail is that cow's milk is what we call a complete protein. It has all the amino acids that our body can't make. So we have to be sure to eat, eat these amino acids. So cow's milk is a complete protein and most plant proteins are not considered complete. They're lacking some amino acids that we actually need to eat. So I would be aware of that too. So protein wise, I would say cow's milk is the real winner here. Eight grams of cow's milk versus two, maybe one gram in oat milk. Let's move on to another important number and that's the total amount of sugars. So cow's milk per serving has about 12 grams of total sugar, whereas oat milk, this plain variety, has only seven grams. So that might come as a bit of a surprise. Cow's milk actually has more total sugar than this Chobani oat milk. Now where the difference comes in between cow's milk and a lot of plant-based milks is the added sugar. So specifically look on the nutrition label, how much sugar is being added extra into the drink. And so you'll see here in cow's milk, we don't add any sugar. We just have what is naturally occurring in the cow's milk. But for oat milk, we are adding seven grams of sugar per serving. So we're adding this extra sugar back into the product. And you will see this with a lot of plant-based milks that they are adding extra sugar. So it's just something to be aware of. You really want to check this out if you are buying chocolate flavored or vanilla flavored um, oat milk or, or silk or something like that, because these tend to have even higher amounts of added sugar. They'll be more sweetened for that flavor. So if you're buying flavored plant-based milk, definitely check the added sugar. Now, one big perk of oat milk is each serving contains two grams of fiber, which is a pretty cool benefit. So traditional cow's milk does not have fiber in it. Now, if you get fiber other places in your diet, maybe this isn't a big deal. If you eat a lot of fresh fruits and veggies, you maybe have pasta with fiber in it, or you eat those granola bars that are high in fiber. But this is, this is pretty cool for a uh, plant-based milk. And the fiber that is in oats is called beta-glucan. And this has been linked to a lot of beneficial health effects. So it's been linked to greater GI health, lower blood glucose levels, and lower cholesterol levels. So if you're looking for a, a, a source of fiber, um, you, you could try oat milk. So there's two grams of fiber per serving or per cup you drink. So if you traditionally drink cow's milk, you want to make sure you are buying an oat milk that is fortified. And fortified just means they have added certain vitamins and minerals to the product. Now you want this because you're used to, if you were drinking cow's milk, you're used to this being a pretty good source of things like calcium, potassium, vitamin A, and vitamin D and you want to make sure you get the fortified oat milk so it has those same vitamins and minerals and you're not all of a sudden lacking those in your diet so take a look and see what vitamins and minerals are in that oat milk 
or it might say it has been fortified with vitamin A, vitamin D, that sort of thing. So double check your oat milk is fortified. Now, if you are someone who is worried about cholesterol, there's about 7% of your daily value of cholesterol in cow's milk and only animals make cholesterol. So you could easily switch to oat milk and there would be no cholesterol. Cholesterol only comes from animal-based products. Now, besides the nutritional aspects of cow's milk or oat milk, of course, there's other reasons that you might go for a plant-based milk versus a conventional traditional cow's milk. So one is obviously if you're concerned about animal ethics or the land and the water and the resources that go into raising cows compared to the resources that it takes to grow plants. If you're lactose intolerant, well, then you should not be buying cow's milk. So you should be buying a plant-based milk because they don't have lactose in them. It'll be a lot easier on your body. And one other major difference is the price. So this container of oat milk, which is about, it says it's 1.53 liters. This was $4 versus if you just get a normal thing of cow's milk, this was about $2 and it's 1.89 liters. So a little bit more fluid in cow's milk and it's about half the price. Really, each of these milks has their own drawbacks and benefits. Cow's milk is much higher in protein but oat milk has some fiber if that's more important to you. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and press that red subscribe button. I'll talk to you next time.